What I really liked about Loyola was its sense of history and tradition. The college really had a commitment to its students. Sports, especially hockey, that was a big event. Winter Carnival, that was a lot of fun. Well, the thing I remember most about Sir George Williams was registration. I mean, it was just so crowded. I was in the fine arts program, and uh, one thing about Sir George is that it's always changed so quickly. Loyola College and Sir George Williams University, two traditions in Canadian education. In 1974, they combined nearly 20 decades of teaching to create a new tradition. A university for all. Concordia University is young and growing, but has roots dating back to 1848. Concordia's open door philosophy expresses the spirit of both founding institutions. And whether it is in one of the traditional disciplines or one of the many innovative programs, Concordia is open to everyone full-time students, businessmen, housewives, mature students. The diversity of Concordia's students is its strength, and the students' associations on both campuses promote a full and varied social life for all. This is CRSG Radio Sir George, and you're listening to Friday Magazine. Coming up at 6, the latest news and weather. Until then, let's listen to some more music. And that wraps up the first edition of the Concordia News Forum. Hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll see you again next week. I'm Alan Skolnikoff. And I'm Louie Wright. The student-run media are also an important part of a student's preparation for a career and contribute to the total university experience of all Concordia students. An experience in learning and living amongst each other. Harmony and Concord. Concordia's emphasis on involvement extends to non-students as well. For instance, Concordia's Center for Management Studies promotes continuous and frank exchanges between business executives, academics, and students. The center is a partnership. A partnership between Canada's largest business school and the community it serves. Now, with both the input and responsibility from the community, Concordia is training future managers to lead industry into the 21st century. Yes, Concordia invites the whole Montreal community to take part. Theater productions are open to all, as are Concordia's art galleries. The Fine Arts Faculty is justifiably proud of its new Visual Arts Building, which now serves the Montreal community with excellent facilities and a wide range of courses. I teach fluid mechanics, so the streamlining of the car integrated very well to the material I teach in the class. It is very important for engineers not only to learn the theoretical aspect of engineering, but they have to learn the practical aspect as well. 
I tried to have students make the design at the same time they build the thing. So they know sometimes it's different from what you design and what you can build or cannot build. It also teaches the students to work together. Some students work on steering, some work on suspension, some work on a highlight, some work on windshield wipers. And they all have to work together as a close team. And to me, this is a very important aspect in engineering training. And that probably will make the difference between Concordia graduates and engineering graduates from other universities. Change and growth are vital aspects of Concordia University. But its heritage is preserved. A complete education with equal emphasis on scholarship, the development of character, fitness. This traditional commitment to the student is integral to one of the most exciting developments at Concordia, the opening of the various colleges in the Faculty of Arts and Science. The colleges offer a number of uh, unique attractions for both students and faculty. Most colleges are in their own separate restored buildings uh, around the uh, Sir George Williams or Loyola campus. These buildings provide the students with a haven. Each college has its own lounge and study facilities, its own seminar rooms in which students and faculty can uh, interact a facility that facilitates intellectual exchange and generally provides a demanding educational experience. The colleges provide not merely an academic forum, but a co-curricular opportunity for social and intellectual improvement. And it's in these settings that many faculty members have developed new perspectives about higher education in Quebec today. Concordia University was one of the first universities in the country to include students in university government. Um, and the student government is important to the university because student government has the input. The university uh, has always been very, very supportive and, and really listens to what student government says. CUSA is in a very formative stages of trying to bring two uh, campuses together. And, both, and the campuses are distinctly different. These are going to be difficult years for them because a lot of things are falling into place. They're working with a new constitution. They've got, uh, I suppose, in a bit heavier dimension, problems that we had. Uh, I think student government, to me, is, is something which is a tremendous experience for any person, and it's a great learning area. The Stanley Cup. Canadian athletic records. Sports heroes and champions have left a legacy of excellence, and the competitive spirit burns ever brighter as the Concordia Stingers carry on the tradition. Behind the bench, Excellent support comes from the biophysical education program. Biophysical education is the science of physical activity. We're associated with three branches of medicine, that is preventative medicine, rehabilitative medicine, and sports medicine, along with the traditional approach to the whole area of physical activity, that is through physical education uh, and, of course, sports. The student in biophysical education is in himself, he is a subject in a and a very enriched learning experience because the focus is on you as an individual in our teaching methodology. This is the model that's used. I think our students in biophysical education come out of there with a knowledge of what it feels like and what it takes to uh, achieve a quality of optimum health. We've had numbers of people coming to us. Why? Because Concordia has something special to offer.
scholarship, tradition, innovation. The aims and ideals of Concordia are found in the libraries. Responsive to changes in emphasis and direction, plans are now underway for a new centralized library system, a real and symbolic expression of a unity of knowledge. By the authority of the corporation and the board of governors of the university, I admit each of you to the bachelor degree as recommended by Senate and certified by the vice rector. The pursuit of knowledge and academic achievement. The success of Concordia graduates speaks for the effectiveness of a Concordia education. Graduates of Loyola College and Sir George Williams University have set the standards. Concordia keeps the tradition alive. Concordia is a big university. It's challenging and dynamic, but also personal and committed. It is both young and old, a new tradition. Its strength is its students, undergraduates, graduates, part-time students, mature students, engineers, poets, alumni. Its strength is you.